a few weeks ago in my area, said that buyer must dismantle. Lumber used, $1,500. Okay, so to dissect this one a little bit, I assume this post wants someone to come to this house and rip apart this back deck piece by piece and after this back-breaking labor, then pay the owner $1,500. So, kind of a steal. I don't know. Who knows? Like, you know, lumber has gone up. Lumber is inflated right now. So, I might even take advantage of this. Hello, everyone. My name is Adam, and welcome back to Plip Plop. Friday or Saturday? Come anytime based on your schedule. Thursday or Friday after five. Weekend anytime. Come? You think I'm coming there? Well, what then? I said I'll meet you, meaning halfway. If you don't want to figure that out, then no big deal. Uh, okay, then you should have said earlier. Uh, please look elsewhere to purchase. Thanks, and have a good day. <laughs> it's your tab. Where's your effort to sell? Seriously, I cannot stand lazy-ass people like you. Always want to sit on your ass and expecting people to come give you money for your stuff. Some nerve. Ridiculous. You can have it for free. Well, now I'm curious. If he offered it for free, did this person have a change of heart? I was like, oh, okay, I'll, I'll be there tomorrow morning. The chickens have had enough of this BS. The person complaining about small leg, don't like, don't buy. As you can see, these are southern chickens with a very hardened exterior and mysterious past. Alrighty, we have a massive wall of text here, so forgive me if my eyes cross and we stumble over a few sentences here. Woman wants free clothes and for me to deliver them. First off, for some context, I have terminal cancer in my spine and hip, so movement and traveling is very difficult for me. I'm a bit of a clothesaholic, and often things are worn once or twice before being sold on eBay, and also a bit of a fatty size 24. Clothing in this size that is fashionable, fun, and affordable is difficult to come by as much places like ASOS and Amazon selling larger sizes are not always cheap. I've been selling on eBay for over 9 years, and this is the worst choosy beggar I have ever come across. I posted four dresses, three tops, three bottoms, two pairs of sandals, and two handbags that Hall would normally bring around 100 or 150 euro. Let's call the customer Karen, obviously so she has messages about one of these dresses, and ask me what the minimum price I will accept to tell her they're all on auction and she's welcome to bid. She tells me she can't wait to bid as she has an event to go to that weekend. She tells me she's interested in all of my items and offers me 25 euro for the lot. One of the dresses alone cost me 75 euro and it's only been worn once, so I simply reply, no. She then proceeded to harass and beg and sell her one of her dresses for 5 euro. I said no again and she offered me 25 euro for the lot as I was willing to deliver her about 40 miles from where I live. Again, I replied simply no. She then tells me that she's diabetic and can't work and has two small children and can't afford to buy clothes in that size. I remember those kinds of ex being so kind and generous that I agree to sell her one of the dresses for 25 euro and I give her my PayPal info. She sends me $2.50 euro. Uh, that doesn't make a lot of sense, sorry. <laughs> two. two 250, 2.50 euro, I guess. I assume it's a mistake on her part and reminder that the dress is 25 euro. She then said, why can't I let her have it for $2.50 euro? Clearly I don't need the money and I know how hard it is to find larger dresses as I'm obviously fat myself. Perhaps if I lost some weight, I'd be able to sell more clothes and I wouldn't have to charge so much. Bear in mind, she's the same size, 24. So she then tries to guilt trip me by telling me she's diabetic and that's why she can't work. I tell her I sympathize, but the dress is 25 euro. She replies with, you are a heartless bee. You should let me have the dress for 250 because I wasn't going to get a lot more than that anyway. The bidding on the dress is already at 1750 so I say I'm sending you your 250 back. Good luck in the future. I then get an email from Paybell demanding 25 euro refund on a dress that she's not even bought, not only because she contacted eBay and told them I was a scammer when I told her. I had the whole conversation that hasn't happened and I can prove she turned around and I said I hope you get cancer and die. I then told her I already have terminal cancer, thanks, and she accuses me for lying for sympathy and demands her 250 plus interest back and the dress and she's taking me to small claims court. Not only that, but apparently she knows me and knows where I live and will send her husband to beat the shit out of me and pick up the dress at the same time. I know this was a really long post, I apologize, but literally had no idea what to reply to that and I was just gobsmacked. Whew, okay, that was a lot. Uh, certainly an exercise in reading a massive wall of text, but we made it. Let's see what else we got. Ah, uh, yes, another post about exposure bucks. Local Chamber of Commerce wants artists to play for exposure. They're charging $15 for admission and expecting 600 plus attendees. They also have over a dozen sponsors 
including two local banks. Just looking for a free chair, oh, and a table, and chairs for the table, oh, and of course porch lumber, and, and someone to build the porch. Hi, good morning, thank y'all for all my B-Day wishes. I'm looking for a Pampazan chair for my living room. I'm moving back into my home and all my furniture is ruined from my mobile home suiting up while I save to move it. I had a chair like that and the G-Babies and I loved it. So if anyone has one I can have, please let me know. Or if you have other furniture, whether it be for my living room or outside on the porch, please let me know. I'm also looking for a vanity for my bedroom for my makeup and getting ready for the day. And I also need a dining room set because my chairs were crushed to smithereens and my table is in bad shape. I've always wanted the glass round table with the white wrought iron chairs around it. Anything will help. I'm in white smudge now. Thank you and hope to hear from y'all. Also a swing and hammock for chairs for my yet to build, yet to be rebuilt porch would help tremendously. If anyone has free porch boards, I can replace my rotten ones would be a godsend because lumber is expensive right now. See, that's what I'm saying in the last post we talked about this. And if anyone would like to help me volunteer to rebuild my porch, I would be greatly appreciated. I've always wanted a Pampazan chair. <laughs> LOL, thanks. Yeah, she really didn't hold back. She kind of just went like rap god with, with choosing beggar items. Like, oh, but if you also have a chair and, and tables for the chair and then lumber for my porch, and then if you could give me this for free. So, I mean, don't hate the player. Calling all artists. We all know that everybody has a price for the hashtag million dollar man. But what I want to know is how many of you have a design worthy of my next t-shirt. Learn more at milliondollarman.com slash t-shirt. My man's is just using that WWE clout to get free stuff. <laughs> Webcomic I follow takes a single day break from posting stories. First, no comics, now no stories? What will people who can't afford your journal see? Does this mean you don't care about your Instagram audience? That's so sad. Don't even have the energy to reply to this. Yeah, Webtoon fans, I mean, myself included, are a different breed. So this kind of makes sense, but yeah, it, it must be a stressful a stressful way of life being a, a webtoon, a webcomic artist. I was doing a GTA heist when this guy comes. Ready up. 50% each. Dude, I spent like three months trying to do this. 50% each or I'm leaving. Fine. And nothing for you. Huh? I'm not letting you do this. So I don't know much about the world of heists in GTA, but this kind of just on paper seems like a pretty bad deal, so. Oakland Bicycle Shop makes a free custom bike for Millionaire Warriors basketball player in return for exposure and then gets ghosted for months. A public relations person for the Warriors basketball team asked a small Oakland bicycle shop to make a free custom bicycle for one of its players. The PR person bragged that the player is very passionate about supporting local business, so he's interested in possibly receiving a bike from you and in exchange promoting your business on his various social media platforms. The bike shop agreed despite having to fight week to week to make payroll. After spending $2,500 on bike parts and several thousand dollars more in labor, the builder asked the warriors if they would consider reimbursing him. They declined. After completing the bike, the shop then got ghosted for months before it figuring out a way to contact the player directly to give him his bike. Yeah, this is a big yikes. This is kind of like the dark side of exposure type arrangements or working for free where you know, once the buyer, quote unquote, gets what they want, they pretty much cut the cord. So big no, no. Is this still available? Crazy price. Oh, eight plates on here for 1700. I've got 1200 cash for this van. No more though. Thanks, Scott. I've already been offered more. It's being sold for a charity. Of course you have. Even if you have still not 1700 or it would be gone, charity starts in my pocket, not charity that have paid staff or funded by the government in either way. It comes from the tax pays pocket, i.e. me have a great day. God, I almost had a stroke reading that, side note. Please can you no longer message us? That's rather rude. I've sold it. We have no government funding and are run by volunteers. <laughs> rude, it's people like you why this country is in the state it is, rude. So you pay no electricity, no water, don't take anything home, so you're funded when it's coming from the people giving? Have a reality check really quickly. I don't, I don't even, this was, <laughs> I don't know. All right, that's it for today, folks. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like or letting us know in the comments section down below. And if you enjoy these types of videos in general, why not consider subscribing? Thanks for sticking around and we'll see you in the next one.